Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part one of my mini series on creating real time applications using Firebase. So let's go ahead and jump right into it then. Uh, hopefully after the initial video you watched, uh, you've created a Firebase account. If you haven't though, that's okay. Go ahead and go to firebase.com and go ahead and sign up either locally or sign in with your Google account. Um, once you do that, you'll be presented with a dashboard that looks similar to this. Um, it, of course, Firebase uh, is free for development accounts with you know limited bandwidth and stuff like that. So I just want you to take note that we have an account here in this case, it's a Firebase demo account. Uh, we can go to manage accounts and we can see the information that's located in our database in real time as it's updated and changed. We'll learn more about this here soon. Uh, but I want you to go ahead and take note of the uh, database's URL here. So in this case, it's luminousheat605.firebaseio.com. So let's go ahead and dive right into our Android application that we're going to be creating in this tutorial. Um, I've gone ahead and created a new Android application called Firebase Demo, and it is basically just a blank activity uh, application at this point. Um, you can see all it has is a main activity uh, class that has an onCreate method that sets its content view to our activity uh, layout. We can take a look at the activity layout here. Here's the visual version. It is basically just a list view on top of a edit text uh, box and a uh, button image and we can look at the XML for that basically see here we have our list view here it's all inside of a relative layout uh, the list view uh, has an ID of list view then uh, that's at the top of the uh, layout and then right below that is our footer where we're going to send our messages and have our send button the footer has an ID of footer it has a edit text is the first item in the linear layout that is of course horizontal and the id for that is message text important things here is that the input type is text there's only one line it's single line true and the ime options is set to action send and then an image button that we set our drawable to ic menu send all of this can be found in the initial commit uh, source code that I'm going to link below. So we're gonna start all having the same blank slate. Okay, so let's go ahead and install Firebase into our Android project. And to do that, we're going to go to Gradle scripts and click on the great or build.gradle file, the module version, not the project version. And I want you to go to dependencies and create a new compile here. And we are going to compile com.firebase and then it is a Firebase client Android and the version is 2.5.0. Now you could go ahead and sync this now, but sometimes some people are going to get uh, duplicate file errors. And in order to uh, prevent that for everyone, we're going to inside the Android section here, we're going to do packaging options and then we're going to exclude some files from being pulled in by Gradle. The first one will be exclude meta uh, inf slash license. Hopefully I spelled that right. The second will be exclude uh, meta inf uh, license firebase dot text. And the finally exclude exclude meta inf license note I'm sorry notice and that should be it now we can click sync now and let Gradle bring in all those project files so if you launch this application right now using some sort of Android emulator or hooked up your phone and launched it onto your phone, you would be presented with a screen that looks like this. Basically, it's empty with our uh, currently inflated uh, layout uh, that is just an edit text field that we can type into and a send button. Of course, if we hit send right now, nothing happens. But in the next tutorial, I'm going to hook all that up for you guys and show you how to work it. So that's pretty much it for this setup video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns over the content in this video, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. If you, uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. More importantly, uh, please share the video. I'm trying to grow this channel, and you guys have been an amazing support for doing that. Uh, if you are feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.